Blessings, you all. Blessings, blessings. Happy Resurrection Day. Happy Resurrection Day. And um, it's important that not only on this day, but every day we remember the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for us on the cross on Calvary. Mm -hmm. We need to remember that because it was something that he did for us that he did not have to do. That was not necessary for him. It was only necessary for him to do for us, but not for himself. Amen. He did it to restore us back to him. Because remember, Jesus is the word of God. And we just need to thank the father for sacrificing his only son on the cross for us to be restored back to him. Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So having faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, faith that he is the ultimate atonement for our sins, we have peace with God again. Now, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a true love that God could express by doing that? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is good. And we need to remember that on this Resurrection Sunday and every day as well. But it's not just about his death. It's about his resurrection. Romans 5 and 10. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, so much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So not only his life as in when he rose from the dead, but the life that he led before he was even crucified. You know, the ministry he led and, and being without sin. See, that's what qualified him to be the ultimate sacrificial lamb because he knew no sin. He was tempted like us, yet knew no sin. Glory be to God and took on our punishment. So by his life, by his death, we're reconciled to God and by his life, we're glorified. We're, we're reigning with him and we're living through him. Glory be to God. So today, let's just remember what he did on the cross for us. Remember why he did it. And let us use that knowledge to focus more on becoming more like him day in and day out. Because it's a process. But God is with you and his Holy Spirit is in you. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.